want to reach, and that's the, the latest, latest draft of the ministerial declaration that we are working on, and hopefully we will have a bold draft uh, by the end of February when we uh, gather in Kenya for UNEA, uh, the, this draft is really pursuing uh, the, a common ground for a fair, effective, balanced, and ambitious legally binding agreement through the INC by the end of 2024. So that's the target that we set for ourselves. The impact of plastic pollution, uh, and that's the reason why I, I wanted to give some, some, some numbers there. The plastic we produce, 46% end up in landfills, but only 9% is actually recycled after losses. Um, you talked a lot about the impact on birds, fish that we end up eating. They, they have plastic particles in their stomachs, but the issue of microplastics is definitely an issue that is really under-researched. And in UNEA, we have developed this keychain, which is the quantity of microplastics and nanoplastics that 20 people inhale in one week. These are being found now in human blood and the accumulating organs. Now we can wait for science to tell us what will be the impact of inhaling. I'm not even talking about drinking, I'm just talking about inhaling here. The impact on our health of inhaling this quantity every week. That's why I wanted to insist on, in addition to tackling uh, pollution, there are a few strategic goals that were uh, that can guide, uh, we think circularity is very important there. Uh, definitely ensuring that uh, plastic products are designed to be circular at the production level. Manage the plastics that cannot be reused or recycled in an environmentally uh, responsible manner.